All right, it's only been a year and a half. Is that about right? Mm, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> that is counting. <laughs> uh, and this will, uh, this should please several of our followers that every time we do a live feed, one of the first questions many of them always ask is, have I mounted the vanity sink yet? in the bathroom and plumbed it well yeah that all goes hand in hand <laughs> okay. it's all the same thing <laughs> sorry so we're getting started on it here and we're going to kind of walk you through it a little bit here at a time and first and foremost you know here's all of our stuff laying out here let me step down here so you can see a little better and delilah is guarding everything as you can tell she worked hard to gather all yeah, that. Yeah, she did. She worked hard to gather all the different paraphernalia that we're going to need to install this. Uh, earlier, uh, she was supervising. Yes. Well, you know, she was uh, in a different position and she was inspecting everything. She right? made sure you had it all. Right. She didn't right. want you to have to run back out to the van, but then she went to sleep <laughs> before she finished her job. <laughs> That's the way she does. So anyway, we're going to get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do here... Uh, I marked where, I don't know if you can see it or not, but right here is where the faucet's going to mount. And the sink is going to mount here. So this is the hole where I, I got to drill this hole for the drain. And then I got to also drill this hole for the faucet, which I, what I'm going to do is use a, a hole saw to do that. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and get those holes drilled. And then we'll come back and talk some more. Sounds perfect. All right. Be back. All right. What? I'm just thinking mm -hmm. this is why we put this stuff off. <laughs> yeah. This is the faucet here. Let me hold this, get this in a little better position. This is the faucet right here. And we already got the hot and cold lines hooked up. And now faucets we've had before similar to this, although this one's a little funky right here, and we'll talk more about that here in a minute the faucets like this before these uh, lines have been marked with a red stripe and a blue stripe to you know tell us if one's hot and one's cold so what we had to do because you know when we're underneath the cabinet uh, we're not going to be it's going to be a tight fit for me let's just put it that way it's going to be hard <laughs> well no it's just going to be tedious and irritating and frustrating some right. people will be bleeping. That's why we're not going to film the actual install. We won't install. film the actually, yeah, that's right. We, we will not actually film the part where I'm, you know, mounting this in. No. No. Because you have to get in some funky positions. No. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to hand the camera to Deb here for a minute. And then uh, I want you to point it right down here. I want to show them stuff here. And if the screen goes black, just touch the screen and it comes yeah, back on. Film. All right, but it'll go dark. Now, what you got to do once you put this into place, and uh, then all you've got is this little Thingy gasket here that slides up over these studs like this, and I can't even get it to go. Yeah, now this is going to be on the underside of the of the cabinet top. Then this little doohickey this little plate slides up over that and then you tighten this down so the only thing that's really holding this firmly to the cabinet top which I'm a little disappointed about is this little bitty half moon plate here so what I had to be very careful when I was choosing my uh, the hole saw for this I had to be very careful to choose the right one that uh, was just barely big enough for these items to fit through and still have a enough of a enough meat at the underside of the cabinet for this plate to grab and I'm gonna hope that I did it right you, did. you, you think so oh yeah uh, well have all the confidence in the I, world I did a lot of fancy measuring and stuff and thinking long before I've had the tools and everything already you know set aside for this for a while page <laughs> And if Wayne was here to help me, because this is what he does, he could probably have done it in about two minutes on this part. But 
this being a first for me with this kind of faucet, this is different than the other faucets we've installed before. The way this thing is here, the ones we had before, actually had a threaded tube, you know, and you just drilled the hole to fit the threaded tube, the hole to fit the threaded tube, and then, uh, you know, you slid that through and you had plenty of meat to grab it, and this doesn't have much meat to grab it, so we're going to uh, to hope that everything works. So anyway, I'm going to go back there. I've already got all the holes drilled on the countertop. I'm going to go back there and we're going to see if we can tighten this down, and then we'll come back to you afterwards and we'll kind of fill you in on uh, how hard or how, how frustrating <laughs> it was or not. It's so. Just it's just the opening that you have to work in is a little bitty doorway. Well, I know, it's, it's, but I had to build it that way on purpose. Anyway, we'll be back. <laughs> Boy, am I glad we didn't film actually hooking up the faucet. Did I have something on my mouth? Yeah, chia seed. Chia seed? <laughs> <laughs> from my breakfast from your breakfast <laughs> now actually folks this is the next day we uh next day and uh, next day yeah <laughs> well we didn't get as far along as we'd hoped so we had to uh, set it back for a little bit because we had appointments with our children plus we had to yeah one of us had to think had to what think think yeah <laughs> that's me finally got it all figured out but we did get the faucet set as you can see right here yeah and it's pretty sturdy I was a little worried about that flange that I showed you you know how it mounts but it uh, really went pretty good and we got the water lines hooked up I don't know if you can see up in there or not let me see if I can get you a shot well not really, not let, me, really. let me do it upside down <laughs> I can flip that though in the mm -hmm. I hope but anyway the water lines are all hooked up and everything and, uh, and we tested it. Yes, we did. And we had water. Yeah, we do have water. We tested it and we have no leaks. But I can't show it to you because the sink is right. <laughs> <laughs> now, the next thing we're going to do is mount the sink. And I had to, uh, to you know, find some parts to make this work the way we want. Now, many of you already know, but there are a few new ones here that do not know that the way we did our, our gray water tank, uh, it's setting on the floor inside the trailer. We have a 65 gallon gray water tank. Technically some will call it a black tank simply because the wee wee goes into the tank as well. The liquids. The liquids from the, yeah, we use a composting type dry system. Toilet. Yeah, we'll call it a dry toilet, but we do route the wee wee. <laughs> That's a <so> juvenile. <laughs> The wee wee without the wee wee, uh, where it ends up in the uh, the the gray tank, and the way we get it there, since the since the gray tank is setting at the same level as pretty much everything else, we raise the bathroom floor so we could mount a pump. Can you lift that up and show them that pump? Is that too hard? To do? No, it's not hard, but I haven't cleaned it. <laughs> oh, well, just we'll just give them a little peek. Okay. But we have a what they call a shower box kit. Yeah, you know, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But I have, we have a shower box kit there. And we have a side drain mount on the shower, but we raised the floor uh, in the bathroom area back here in the back six inches so we could accommodate this shower box. And this is a really cool setup here. We've done videos about it before. Uh, we'll post a link to the uh, in the description though where you can get this shower box. It's made by a company called Rule. They use it a lot in uh, uh, boats and things like that is the, how they use that but it works fantastic for us but uh, what happens is it's got a float switch in it and we have a side drain on the shower and as the water is draining out of the shower uh, it goes into the shower box uh, the float switch kicks in after it reaches a certain level and it pumps it all up let me say it again it pumps it up <laughs> into the freshwater tank and I'm uh, not the freshwater tank it better not pump in the freshwater tank gray. <laughs> it pumps it up into the gray slash black tank and uh, then of course you know we've got it hooked up like any other typical RV style drain to drain it off you know but it's a 65 gallon tank and it's been working fantastic for us um, so that's the way we do that now we also the way we have it set up with our toilet now I've still got to build a new toilet seat here 
when we were initially building the trailer, I just fashioned something real quick so we'd have a way to... Because uh, we were living in it. Yeah, we were living in it while we were trying to build it. So I just fashioned a, a basic frame real quick so we would have a way to potty. And so I got to build a new toilet seat because after we built everything else around it, then I ended up ex exp yeah, extending the sides, wider. making this whole thing wider. So now I'm going to be building a new uh, a new toilet seat for that. And when we do that, you know, we'll do a video about it. Yeah. And show you how we did it to make it look kind of like a home potty. But if you don't mind lifting up the front of that, this whole thing. Just just the front part. Just tilt it up. And see, I have the. I have the bag covered right now. Oh, well, good. <laughs> <laughs> but what I did, I built a funnel system. Now, these come, when you get this kit, this is what they call the Privy 500 kit. And when these come, um, they come with a tube that hooks on here, and they have barbs on here. Um, I did clean that, by the way, folks, as best I could. Um, now, keep in mind, we've been using it for, you know, what, a year and a half? Two uh, years. Almost two years. But... Um, it comes they have a bar fitting <laughs> but we cut the bar fitting off and then i made a funnel system down here as you can see uh, and i used an inch and a half coupler then a uh, a bushing to reduce it down to one inch and then i go into a male connector on the other end and then uh, in this case because we're going to be hooking the sink to it as well i installed a uh, a uh, barbed T down there and we're getting ready to uh, mount the sink here in a little bit and go ahead and run the drain line down to that other side of the T that you see right there. The other side of course is hooked up and that's where the wee wee goes and okay you can shut it now but uh, anyway it has worked really 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 well for us for quite some time. So well, now we what we're the same thing in the well, more or less in the yeah, red trailer. pretty much more or less in the red trailer. We're same thing. Yeah, we got an ant. No, that's a spider up that's there. It's a spider. Yeah, <laughs> we've been having trouble with spiders here lately. It is. The so anyway, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the sink mounted, and then uh, you know once we get it mounted, we'll be running a drain line down through there. And I don't know if you can see the hole. Let me see if I've got it where you can see it. Should should be. Yeah, it's right there. Um, but anyway. Uh, be running the drain down through, down through the hole and coming through the side and tying into that so that whenever we uh, wash our hands or anything then the water goes down it goes on past the T where the wee wee goes <laughs> that's what we've been doing now is of course using it and then turning around and washing our hands yeah, in the shower right so that it flushes the shower box right Right. And this way, we will be doing it at the sink. Yeah, but we've been routing the wee-wee into the shower box as well. Uh, the shower box itself has like three inlets on it. Yes. So we've been routing the wee-wee, and now we're going to tie the sink drain into it as well. For those of you that were going to ask, you know, what about a P-trap? Well, quite honestly, the shower box itself kind of acts like a P-trap. Mm -hmm. We've never had any kind of gassy odors back in here at all. No. And the line that goes from the shower box up to the, uh, up to the tank, I did install a PVC check valve. Right. in that line and it's a one inch line I got a one inch PVC check valve in that line and also made it in such a way put it together in such a way where if I need to replace it I can easily unscrew it and stick another one on so uh, anyway that's the way we do that but we've never had any issues like I say the shower box itself kind of acts like a like a, a p-trap right yeah yeah so uh, we'll be back in just a little bit yeah Yeah. Da -da. Da -da. Oh, it was fine. It's just that it's very, very tight quarters, and I'm not a little bitty guy. No, we you should know. we shouldn't have built all this in before we plumbed. You think so? <laughs> that yeah. That might have made it easier. Oh well, yeah. It should have probably just should have plumbed this sink first, and then built the rest of the trailer. I tried to get you. Yeah, I know, because <laughs> well, we've had it for a long time. Yeah, I yeah. bought this in June of '21 when I looked it up. Yeah. Boy, dear, I'm I sorry. wish you hadn't told them that. I'm sorry. What I have mean, I got? Well, yeah, I've got junk all over me because I was standing on my head and all kinds <laughs> of stuff while I was doing this. But anyway, it's all ready. It's done. It's and it awesome. works. I'll briefly run it here just a little bit to show you. And goes right down. There are no leaks anywhere that we've, you know, been able to find. Now, what I had to do here, the, uh, 
the T that I showed you where I made the funnel thing, it's one inch. Everything else is plumbed in one inch. Well, this downspout is inch and a quarter that comes down off of the sink. That's inch and a quarter. So I found a barb fitting that is inch and a quarter on one end and one inch on the other. And then I took a short piece of uh, inch and a quarter clear tubing and connected those, you know, the barb to the downspout. And then, of course, the drain goes off on the other side or goes off on the bottom and goes on down and it goes down through here and uh, you know ends up in that T on that funnel deal that uh, I made that we showed you earlier and it all works quite well that, doesn't it? Yeah did you hear yeah, it? Yeah we'll let it run one more time then we're gonna let it set clear to tomorrow yeah Listen. well you probably didn't run enough to activate the It'll go in a minute. There. There it went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes about uh, oh, probably close to a half a gallon before the foot the uh, yeah, float switch uh, goes. But anyway, that's what it does, and the the sump pump picks it up and pumps it into the gray slash black tank it's gray tank right okay but uh anyway it works well we're going to let it set and not use it anymore until uh, about this time tomorrow right and make sure that uh you know the plumber's putty you know sets up good yeah, where i set the flange day. yeah yeah but so, uh check out times at three o'clock and we don't have far to go so we're gonna we're gonna take our time getting ready to yeah. pull out tomorrow give this plenty of time to set up now one thing else that i did do is i uh glued this sink i put uh two or three i put a circle bead around it and then a couple of beads uh, crosswise of uh, construction adhesive and then set this sink on that uh, i didn't want just the downspout and flange being the only way that was holding this sink down because this is the bounciest part of the yeah trailer. yeah yeah and i know if i ever have to take it off it's going to be a booger i'll have to replace the top yeah but <laughs> <laughs> we'll worry about that when the time comes that's all I can say yeah. but we'll keep an eye on it for a while but uh, uh, and I did not use the uh, Gorilla Glue construction adhesive I just used that uh, the basic three dollar per tube the liquid nails. yeah liquid nails is all we used on that because we didn't want it to be next to impossible to get loose which is the way it would be with Gorilla Glue construction adhesive but uh, it looks good. It's working like uh, like we anticipated that it would. Yeah. Now I just got to get a towel bar. Yeah. Here we go. More stuff. <laughs> More stuff. More sort of, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then before long, we'll start on this floor. That's about all we have left to do here in the bathroom. Just the trim. And, and then you know, trim it out. I got to go ahead and finish trimming all this out and around the Max Air fan here. But that'll all be subject to. Uh, the subject of another video yeah. right Hi. yeah so that's it for now maybe Paige <laughs> will get off my back now <laughs> and, and there's a few others that have yeah, been you know few. bugging me have been... you got Deb sink done yet you got Deb sink done no yet? it's not just Deb sink well if it's just mine I don't expect you to ever wash your hands in it okay, okay. I'm just gonna keep going over the shower and washing my hands in the shower <laughs> what do you think Nope. nope. Okay. We're going to let you uh, you guys go for now. Uh, we got some more stuff coming up. But anyway, for now, this is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures, and you know exactly what we're going to say. We are not camping. We are living. Y'all get out there and do some living, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.